What up everybody, this is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, you will learn how to summarize methods used to interface with databases such as relational methods, database access methods, and exporting and importing. Relational methods refer to how a relational database is created, used, and updated. Two major categories are discussed in this section, and that is data manipulation and data definition. Data manipulation is the process of changing data to make it easier to read or be more organized. Data manipulation can be summarized as follows. You have the select, that is the process of specifying desired data. This can be done with a query. You have insert, refers to the process of adding new records to a table. New data can be added by importing data from a source file, by entering new records manually, or by using SQL statements. Delete refers to the process of removing one or more existing records from a table. If a result, if a result in a query that includes more than one table is deleted, the matching records are deleted. And then you have update refers to the process of changing one or more existing records in a table. If a result in a query that includes more than one table is updated, the matching record is updated. Data definition, also referred to as data definition language or DDL, refers to how the structure of a database is created. The common commands used in data definition, particularly in SQL, include the following. You have the create command that is used to make new data structures such as databases, tables, and indexes, or a stored procedure, also known as a subroutine. You have alter that is used to modify an existing database object, and you have drop that is used to destroy a database, a table, an index, or a view. To eliminate the contents of a table while preserving the table, use delete or truncate. Permissions. Permissions for database access are specified after a database has been created. Users can provide any desired combination of select, insert, delete, and update permissions. Using the principle of least privilege, users should be provided only the permissions needed for their assigned tasks. For example, a user who needs to look up information should have the select permission. A user who needs to add new records needs to have the insert permission. A user who is responsible for purging obsolete records needs to have the select and the delete permissions. And a user who is responsible for updating records needs to have the select and update permissions. Data access methods. A database can be accessed in a variety of ways. You have direct manual access, programmatic access, access, user interface, utility access, and query or report builders. So direct manual access. Basically, that takes place when a user enters SQL commands or uses a menu to access the tables in the database. This is a suitable method for working with a database that is stored locally or on a local area network. It needs to be accessed by just a few users. You have programmatic access. Programmatic access refers to the use of programming language to access a database. Using a programming language to access a database enables the data to be moved, to be used in more ways and is also safer than using direct access or manual access. For example, Oracle databases support access from many languages, including Oracle PL slash SQL, which combines a procedural language with SQL. Um, you also have Oracle JMS, a Java application programming interface API. Then you have Pro-C and C++ and others. Depending upon the, data pay, the database and the programming language you want to use, it might be necessary to perform a query using a supported language and then connect to the result with a language you prefer. User interface and utility access. A database such as Microsoft Access is designed to permit database access through its user interface. However, SQL databases, um, with SQL databases, it might be necessary to add an optional user interface to make the database usage easier. For example, Oracle offers MySQL Workbench as a GUI user interface for use with MySQL. Query and report builders. A query is used to find specified data in a database by using the select statement. Some databases such as Microsoft Access have built-in query and reporting functions. 
export and import. So exporting a database enables the database data to be used by another app or be moved to a server with more space. Importing a database enables a database app to use an already existing database. When an SQL database is exported, the export file is referred to as a database dump. Database dump, which is also referred to as a logical backup, contains a record of the table structure and or the data from a database and is usually in the form of a list of SQL statements. A database dump is most often used for backing up a database so that its contents can be restored in the event of a data loss. Before you can import the data into a new database, the database must be recreated. After a database is created, which is, also, which is a fairly quick process, the database dump is used to recreate the schema and tables. This process can take some time. Backup. So the term backup can be used to refer to a database dump or a physical backup. In this section, we will use backup to refer to physical backups only. A physical backup copies the database files from the original source to backup media. If the backup is made while the database is running, the backup is called a hot backup. If the backup is made when the database has been shut down, the backup is called a cold backup. Physical backups can be recovered quickly in the event of problems because restoration involves restoring the backup files. Restoring a database dump or a logical backup can take much longer. All right, so, <coughs> excuse me, that is our quick class. So let's go ahead and get into some check on learning. So you need to remove a database from, uh, you need to remove a table from a database. Which of the following SQL commands would you use? Would it be? delete whatever the table name is would it be the remove command would it be the drop command or would it be the format command so you need to remove a table from a database the correct answer would be drop it will be drop not remove it will be drop that is what you would type in to in the user interface to do to uh remove a table from a database <laughs> next question your organization is using a script created in Java to access a database. This is an example of which of the following? Is this direct access? Is this JavaScript access? Is this user interface access? Or is this programmatic access? So you're using a script to access Java, a script created in Java to access a database. The correct answer would be this is a programmatic access, programmatic. All right, final question. Which of the following is used to extract data from a database in a readable format according to a user's request? Would this be a query? Would this be data manipulation? Would this be data definition language or DDL? Or would this be data exfiltration? So which of the following is used to extract data from a database in a readable format according to the user's request? The correct answer would be a query. A query is the correct answer. So in summary, we have talked about interfacing with databases where we discussed relational methods, database access methods, and exporting and importing. So please visit my website, technologyg.com, so you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass your CompTIA IT Fundamentals Certification Exam. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.